What is going on everybody, Matta222 here today, bringing you guys another figure review. Today we are looking at the DC Collectibles Batman the Animated Series Wesker and Scarface figure, Ventriloquist and Scarface figure I should say. Uh, couldn't even get these guys to stand up man, not gonna happen so that's why they're just kind of chilling off to the side while we look at the packaging right here. So standard kind of blister card, not collector friendly at all. Got Batman the Animated Series DC Collectibles on the side. Bat same thing, Batman, Ventriloquist, and Scarface. Figure number 32, man. It doesn't feel like this line has had 32 figures. I, I didn't purchase every figure. Like, I didn't I didn't double up on, like, Riddler. Like, I didn't really double up on anybody. Like, they had two Riddlers. They had two Jokers. They had two Catwomans. I, I, I didn't bother doubling up. I just kind of got the ones I wanted, the ones I like better. Huh. But, yeah. Nonetheless, big red silhouette of, silhouette of Batman on the back. You got the DC logo. Whatever else right there. Scarface and Wesker, or Scarface and Ventriloquist on the side. Sculpted by Irene Matarg. Good, good job, Irene. Good job. You, you, you did your job good with this figure. 32. Whoops. Nothing really on the bottom. Nothing really on the top. So that pretty much does it for the packaging. So why don't we go ahead and look at the figure. Alright, so looking at the figures themselves. Starting off with Ventriloquist. Really good face sculpt. Very, very animated series accurate. I like, I like how they got the glasses just completely blue. So you can't see his pupils. You can't really see his eyes. Just kind of gives him that more menacing feeling i mean that's what he looked like in the show right so he's got a little bit of white hair decent sculpt on the hair other than that not too much to the figure so he had he does have buttons on his jacket which could have been painted but they're not so that's what it is a little bit of black smudging there on the white he's got black bow tie other than that not too much to say about him he's got stubby legs which makes it impossible for him to stand on his own uh, yeah, so let, let's uh, let's kind of look at his articulation, and then we'll look at Scarface, and then I'll kind of show you how they go together. So side to side for the head, forward and back, not very much. His hair I find is kind of sharp, so maybe just be careful you don't poke yourself. Arm moves up to about here, and then it does rotate. He has a bicep swivel, single jointed elbow wrist rotation and wrist hinge I, I really like how the wrists on these guys you can kind of do a lot with them no ab crunch it does have a waist twist hips move out this far it's got the dcuc gaping crotch pit you can't kick forward and back he cannot even bear he can barely move his legs forward but he's got a really minor bend in the knee but it's it's not so bad because i mean obviously he was not he's never a fighter like he, he's not a fighter right if you're familiar with this character at all, he basically is the servant for Scarface. He just gets bossed around and he's always reluctant, like he doesn't want to commit crimes. Man, I need to go back and watch those episodes because they were good. Uh, feet do rotate. No rocker. Well, kind of got a rocker, but can't really do anything with it. And no hinge. So that is our Scarface, Wesker, whatever. Or ventriloquist. Alright, so now looking at Scarface. Wow. Awesome job with the face sculpt. I really like that face sculpt. That is just all kinds of creepy. I mean, I like how nice the scar kind of stands and pops out. See, he's got the yellow teeth with the cigar. Uh, articulation for this guy. His arms rotate, you can move them out and in, and then his hand rotates, head moves side to side, a little bit of forward and back, and then the legs are just these dummy legs, eh? They're really loose. I don't know if they're supposed to be this loose. Mine just re are really, really loose. I don't know if they're supposed to be, but they are. But you can still kick forward and back, no bend in the knee, and of course they don't move. Uh, so accessories, he comes with his Tommy gun, which is a just a scaled down version, I do believe, of the one that came with Two-Face. 
and he, he can't hold it great, but you can kind of get it in his hand. Um, so, if you can, you kind of get it like that. I mean, Scarface doesn't really come with any interchangeable parts, so you just kind of got to fit it in there and hope for the best. No. Attaching Ventriloquist and Scarface together is a little bit tricky. So, oh, I'll show you his other accessories first. He doesn't come with much. So he comes with two... Can you see that? So it comes with two kind of open hands. And then he comes with a fist for the right hand. Right now, in the right hand, he's got this more kind of... He's got a trigger finger. Kind of like a trigger finger. So I guess if you have an extra gun, you want to give him. So now, here's where it kind of gets tricky. So you basically just pop out the hand. And then you will see in the back of Scarface, there's a little slit with a little peg. And you basically just want to... Basically, like Scarface is like an alternate hand. He's, he's, he's like an alternate hand. So you basically just want to peg him into the wrist. And then he just goes on like that. Now, getting him to stay is the tricky part. I can't for the life of me. Yeah. See, so, so you, your best bet is to kind of... I, I can't even do this on camera because... Your best bet is to try to pry the jacket of Scarface open. But it's really a thicker rubber. So. So yeah, your best bet is to just try to pry that open and then fit that on like that. And then, and then if you can get him to stand and great uh, other than that his only other accessory is his display base which you will probably need for displaying oh sorry guys I missed one he also comes oh no yeah he comes with the kind of trigger grabbing hand for the right and left uh, really not much more to say about this figure I, I really like it I like kind of the I like the way they look together. I like the way they look completed. The only thing is it's a little bit tricky to get them together, but once you do, like like I said, they're gonna look really cool standing on the shelf. So I'm gonna recommend these guys, and I don't think we have any other Ventriloquist and Scarface figure right now. Like, I don't know if any other line made those two characters, so kind of makes these guys just a little bit more unique. So yeah. That's all I have to say with that. Like I said, 100% recommend. Uh, that's going to be it for this video, though, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you have yourselves a great day. And I will catch you next time with another figure review. Excuse me, I had to yawn. Thank you again.